Okay, I'm gonna make another video <coughs> just because all the HVAC guys out there might be wondering how this is working out because it's not trunked and that's fine. But this is just double bubble. This double bubble supposedly is an equivalent to an R4. Um, most of everything up there on the gables has been sealed. Um, I'm still finding places, the door frames, I got those, got the gables. Uh, got to get, you can probably see up there, got some taping up there I got to do. <coughs> Take care of that at some point. Uh, however, I just walked back in here and the humidity reduction already is at least almost one to one and a half times better than what it was in here. And it's been less than 15 minutes. So, uh, I'm just glad I was able to achieve this because this is something I've always wanted. <laughs> Picked this thing up for 160 bucks and I still need to get back with that guy and show him because he was worried that it may have sat outside too long, but it is immaculate. Uh, so I ran two 16s, uh, 16 foot up on that section. It's actually about 15 and a half to center. And then uh, I kept off the floor uh, about eight feet here. <coughs> and I've still got to build me a, a, uh, a return housing for my filter grill, but that's fine. So, uh, and I've still got to get my disconnect and <coughs> my whip in. So I'm just running on some, on some uh, 8.3 uh, soft wire braid right now. Um, but that's left over from the hot tub, so I've still got my weather type fittings for that. I just got to give me a disconnect box, and I had to cut that down because that's way too much there. But she sounds like a dream. Got a good, definitely warm. I may hook and check uh, check my sub cooling because this is orifice style coil on this thing, so I don't have to worry about checking superheat. But uh, uh, definitely don't think I'm gonna have to worry about static pressures. Uh, everything seems peachy. I did the blower. The blower's on actual high now and not medium high just because of the duct size and the short runs at this point. I may, that may change once I get the rafters trunked, but everything now looks, oh, need to fix that. It's like a, hood emblem that just falls over and makes you sad uh, probably check the charge in it Ben's it's probably never been checked for at least four or five years now but the coil inside the evap coil looked pretty good it's showing its age as far as the casing the oh it feels amazing already in here uh, the evap coil itself wasn't bad as far as the actual condition, whoever the house came from was definitely a smoker, but I cleaned it um, best I could. Uh, it was just the side housings or the side plates of the coil by the hoops that was starting to get rusted out. But you know what? I sprayed fluid film all over it. I, I would drink fluid film if I knew it wouldn't kill me because I believe in it so much. But man, it really feels unreal dehumidified in here already and this is a lot of cubic feet normally 1500 square feet with a you know nine foot ceiling at most at least by american air conditioning society standards um, but even like back here towards the front of the shop towards the road front oh my gosh like i don't feel like my armpits are sticking together back here right now so, yeah, I'm still gonna climb up there and see what it feels like. I thought I'd shoot another video before I climbed up there, but I'm ready to get up there and feel my hair blowing back like it's winter time in the ceiling. But the rain is starting to fall, waiting on storms to get here. I gotta go put that service panel back on. But man, she's rocking. Shop's a mess, that's okay, because it feels three times better at this point i know i said one and a half earlier but now it's already three times better oh my goodness i can just feel the cold air falling off the top up there so good deal lucille
ஆமாம்யா